Hey, what's up bosses? Welcome to your Friday feature. Are you or someone you know working on getting your CDL? Rob Hatchett from Seat My Trucks gives us three tips to being successful on the road. Check this out. What's up bosses? Cardlin here with the Truck Boss Show. We are sitting down with Rob Hatchett. He, you might remember him from My Trucker Life and Seat My Trucks. He actually has something to share with us. His three keys to success behind the wheel. And it's not just driving, it's kind of a all over life aspect. And so Rob, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, you know, you, you think back over the over the years, I have been to not every single CDL school in America, but I've been to a lot of CDL schools and I presented to those classes about coming to work for, for my carrier at the time. And so I've made this presentation to new people coming in the industry, to people considering the industry. And of course, as we sit here right now in this in this driver shortage, we've got to, as an industry, get more people coming in. And we've got to then keep those people once they've come in. And so how do we keep them? Once they're here, what's the key to success for those folks? And so, so there's three things that I think are very, very important for success for that group. Number one is I would tell them, don't stop learning. There's, it's very easy to have hey, got my CDL. Now, now I'm, a, now I'm a, a professional driver and I know everything. But, you know, when you think about when a professional driver goes to the carrier, there's so much more than just driving the truck they have to learn. They have to learn the processes when it comes to the bill of lading, when it comes to payroll. Again, you think about life in general, don't stop learning. There's always more and more to learn. And so that's key for new folks coming into the industry. Second thing I'd say is make sure you understand expectations. And so that is what's the carrier's expectations of you? And then what's your expectation of the carrier? And if we can get on the same page with, okay, you've told me 2,500 miles a week, and I'm gonna get home on Saturdays. If that's the expectation that the carrier's set, then, then me as a driver, I'm expecting them to meet that as well. But also, if, if they've set expectations for me, then, then one, I need to know what they are, and two, I need to make sure that I meet them as well. And, and so when we go to that new employer, when we have that new fleet manager, or when a new safety person is assigned to us, it's a good five minute conversation to go, okay, what can I expect from you? What can you expect from me? And then the third thing, which kind of follows up on number two is communication. And again, that's so very, very simple, but how many times in trucking do we realize something happened and, and it was just a communication issue where, right. where a driver was needing to get home, but they didn't send their, their Qualcomm message properly. And so we had a communication gap. And again, these things that I'm mentioning is really a two-way street. That's where, um, you know, I believe that drivers are becoming more and more valuable and carriers are realizing, hey, we got to communicate better to our drivers as well. And, and, and those three things, don't stop learning, understand expectations, and then keep communicating. Again, simple things for all parts of life, but for new drivers in the industry who want to have successful careers, I, I believe those three things, nothing to do with driving the truck there, but those three things are vital to having a, a successful career in the trucking industry. Awesome. Well, thank you, Rob. We appreciate it. We know you're a busy man, so we'll let you get off the line here. But always a pleasure talking to you, and we look forward to talking with you soon. All right, man. Thanks. Have a good one. So, never stop learning, understand expectations, and remember, communication is a two-way street. We'll see you Monday for the next feature.